child is born with a cleft lip, it can be reassuring to parents to know that modern surgery can fix most with little to no scarring once the child grows. And it's a nice medical moment. We look into how Helen DeVos Children's Hospital's oral cleft program treats them. A cleft lip is the most common facial birth defect occurring in one in 500 children worldwide. It's where the muscles of the lip don't come together. So there's a big gap and those muscles then try to hook up someplace else and so when they do they create abnormal insertions for the muscles and that creates the distortion that we see where the nose is crooked, the gums instead of being straight are divided. A cleft lip can affect a patient's ability to smell, taste and hear. And of course it affects two very important things, how you look, which impacts how society is going to treat you, and the most important, it impacts on your ability to talk. But the good news is Dr. Robert Mann, the director of the oral cleft program at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, says cleft lips are very fixable. If you have a complete cleft, which means now the nose is distorted, we like to take those muscles off the nose, let the nose recover, and then we've changed it to an incomplete cleft and then we can get a great result. So it takes an extra step, but we're doing natural physiology. Dr. Mann says most cleft lips show up in an ultrasound, so he often meets with parents before the baby's delivered to begin planning. And many times the first surgery can be done within a year after birth. There's a massive change in growth, and the face changes a lot. So you have to put the babies together as babies, but allow for normal facial growth to occur and scar tissue can be somewhat restricting. So you have to be very, very careful of where you put your scar tissues so that you can allow for growth to occur. On average, a patient will undergo three procedures for their cleft lip. There's a series then of operations that we do, most of them as an infant, a few right around the time when the kids would normally get braces, okay. and then some when they become a young adult to complete an adult face. By the time Dr. Mann's team has completed the procedures, any sign of the cleft lip is essentially gone. Social Midwest distance, which is a comfortable separate space, uh, our goal is that no one can tell the child had a cleft lip and palate. If you're at intimate distance where kids play, you can see a scar. And if we can make it inconspicuous, it doesn't count. And that's the goal. And for more on their cleft oral cleft program, you can go to the website on your screen.